My plan is to give a $50,000 tax deduction to start up small businesses. But we've got to increase the corporate tax rate. State taxes are going to have to go up. I believe in the ambition, the aspirations, the dreams of the American people. I will snatch their patent so that we will take over. The question is, do you have the will to do it? I have the will to do it. The cost of housing is too expensive for far too many people. Bidenomics is working. It's working. It's a term we're very proud of, I must tell you. I'm going to invite you to attend one of Donald Trump's rallies. Now, I will tell you, the one thing you will not hear him talk about is you. It was hardworking patriots like you who built this country, and it's hardworking patriots like you who are going to save our country. I will not ban fracking. I'm in favor of banning fracking. It has to be legislation, but yes. And this is something I've taken on in California. I have a history of working on this issue. When it came to the Proud Boys, a militia, the former president said, stand back and stand by. But you have to go home now. We have to have peace. These dictators and autocrats are rooting for you to be president again. Name a favorite yes, candidate. It used to be Joe Biden. Support uh, Ms. Harris. So that is what we are going to do. What I do offer is a new generation of leadership for our country. One who believes in what is possible. One who brings a sense of optimism. We all sing happy tunes and sing Merry Christmas and wish each other Merry Christmas. How dare we speak Merry Christmas? How dare we? Tim Walls and I are both gun owners. We're not taking anybody's guns away. So stop with the continuous lying about this stuff. We have to have a buyback program, and I support a mandatory buyback program. Belittling and name-calling. Let's turn the page. Don't you find some of their stuff to just be plain weird? <laughs> so I'm finding out this morning that the one of the moderators, the, the lady that was up there is actually Kamala's sorority sister. So you have the sorority sister and then you have her best friend that is one of the execs. So now we know why there was a three on one debate. So we know that it, it was a biased debate. No questions asked. So you're celebrating for nothing because she never did get to her policy. She never answered any questions. They never fact checked her on anything. I want to bring something else to your attention because a lot of people are distorted in, in knowing what a real leader is. See, Trump is a real leader. A real leader is not perfect by any means. For my Christians out there, you know David in the Bible wasn't perfect. You know Paul wasn't perfect. Noah wasn't perfect. Solomon wasn't perfect. Abraham wasn't perfect. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. King Cyrus, none of those leaders were perfect. But nonetheless, they were leaders. See, a leader shows up. They don't hide from the people. Mm. She's saying that she's a part of the people. Then where were you for three and a half years? You didn't show up. You didn't show up for the families that was in Afghanistan. You didn't show up. All you did was hid behind the keyboard all weekend and talk about the real leader that showed up. You didn't show up to the border. Trump went to the border, even though he wasn't president. He showed up to the border. And for all you black people out there, she didn't even show up to the NABJ. Trump showed up to the NABJ. So did. You know, so the only leader that's perfect was Jesus Christ. But even back then in his day, they would have called him an imperfect leader because he didn't concede to their uh, itching of ears and what they what they wanted to do. He wasn't all about optics. All he was was his about his father's business standing on the truth that's what jesus was about he's the only perfect leader but you know satan they manipulate you with flattery that's what satan does he makes you they manipulate they, they polish themselves up to deceive you see satan is the father of lies jesus is the is the conveyor of truth mm. and that's what we need during this time it's time to rise up and speak out against the evil of the uh, the atrocities of this party. The manipulation, the gaslighting, it has to stop. And black people, y'all are sitting up here and y'all supporting this stuff. And this woman said that she wasn't doing nothing for black folks. She was locking up black men in jail left and right. And y'all still want to back her. So she's saying that it's time for a change. She is completely right. I 100% agree. It's time for a change and it's time to get 
your administration, fire her administration and move in Trump into the White House. Y'all, so it's time to put America first instead of having America last. So y'all, let's get out there. We stay prayed up. We need to this these we need to pray during these rough times and just keep your head on the swivel and I'll check in with y'all later. All right. Holy smokes, this debate could not have been worse for the Harris campaign. It could not have been any worse. And the sad thing is, she actually looked pretty good on stage. But the moderators and ABC ruined it for her. You got to remember, folks, campaigns are two things, sound bites and snapshots. People aren't going to remember most of what happened tonight except for this. The moderators at ABC allowed Kamala Harris to stand on that stage over and over and over again, lying to people. Lied about her record, lied about her involvement in the Biden-Harris administration, lied about her positions, lied about everything, lied about her VP candidates' positions. She just made shit up. She lied about everything, and the moderators let her get away with it. Yet the same moderators seem to have prepared clarifications for the things that they suspected that Donald Trump was going to bring up, and most of those fact checks were not true. And everyone knows it because people aren't stupid. The American people are not dumb. We're very well researched. We're educated people. We understand what's going on in this country. And those moderators just treated you, America, as though you're too stupid to know better. They allowed Kamala Harris to lie repeatedly. And then they tried to take Donald Trump down themselves. What people are going to remember from this debate is very simple. Kamala Harris was not prepared to take on Donald Trump by herself. She needed moderators to do the work for her. And now it makes sense why she had to have her VP candidate sitting next to her when Dana Bash interviewed her with CNN. She needed somebody else to do her dirty work for her, to protect her. And how do you think the American people are going to feel when they have to go into a voting booth in the next couple of weeks and make a decision about who they want sitting across the table from the world's thugs and dictators negotiating the biggest challenges that our country has ever faced? Do you think they're going to want someone like Kamala Harris who can't even get on a debate stage and debate Donald Trump in good faith? Or do you think they're going to want someone like Donald Trump in that room who just mopped the floor with three people at the same time? How rigged the ABC debate was against Trump, even more are going to jump on the Trump train. Here's a debate conflict of interest that no one is going to tell you. The ABC moderator, Lindsey Davis, is a sorority sister of Kamala Harris. Here she is confirming it over three years ago. Lindsay Davis Roberts. Just can't make this up, y'all. Just can't make this up, man. Robin Roberts is right. It's a sorority thing. I don't understand it all. So you have to explain. Lindsay Davis, Robin Roberts is right. It's a sorority thing. I don't understand it all. So you have to explain it to everybody. Sure. You're a sorority sister of Kamala Harris. Right. Well, you know, uh, pearls are a symbol of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, which she pledged while she was at Howard University. And the strand of pearls is symbolic of the unity and the sisterhood. Okay. But on this day, there's actually a Facebook page of women who say, wear pearls on January 20th, 2021. And hundreds of thousands of women are apparently wearing pearls in support of of, of her Lindsay Davis Robin Roberts is right y'all remember when this lady compared Trump to KKK huh. you know uh, president uh, well, former president Donald Trump is expected to go campaign in Howard Michigan tomorrow uh, many people are aware that a month ago uh, in Howell KKK protesters marched in the streets with the the white robes on uh, and and suggested that they support um, Donald Trump. I'm curious if, if you make anything about that connection and him going in particular to Howell tomorrow. They don't hide their bias at all, y'all. Fake news. Enemy of the people, man. And I'm calling on all our fans to make one right now, and I'll play it on the show tomorrow. <laughs> a montage of every fact check. Yeah. Right? I mean, it was... Don't worry, I'm gonna play it for y'all. ...minutes of time that they were fact-checking Trump. I want a montage of every time they interrupted him. He'd be giving an answer, and they would say... We're out of I want to move on. David Muir would say, I want to move on. I want, yeah, he was in the middle of giving an answer about there Afghanistan. There are many other things. Hammering Kamala Harris. Yeah. And David Muir would jump in and say, I want to move on. I have so, I have so many questions. Who gives a sh**? <laughs> what you yeah, are you running for president? Why are you? Yeah. Why are you an important person? What makes you yeah. an important? Did human? they fact check her once? No, no. zero no. times. No. no, the internet is going to do a very. The baby will be born, and we will decide what to do with the baby. In other words, we'll execute the baby. There is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. 
in Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. If I hear you bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there have been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed. You repeatedly uh, falsely claimed that you won, many times saying you won in a landslide. Crime here is up and through the roof. Despite their fraudulent statements that they made, crime in this country is through the roof. President Trump, as you know, the FBI says overall violent crime is actually coming down in this country. But Vice excuse President me, the Harris, FBI defraud. The they were defrauding statements. They they didn't include the worst cities. They didn't include the cities with the worst crime. Tim Walls and I are both gun owners. We're not taking anybody's guns away. So stop with the continuous lying about this stuff. We have to have a buyback program, and I support a mandatory buyback program. It's got to be smart. We got to do it the right way. Do you believe in the mandatory buyback of quote unquote assault weapons? I do believe that we need to do buyback. Let's remember Charlottesville, where there was a mob of people carrying tiki torches, spewing anti-Semitic hate. And what did the president then at the time say? There were fine people on each side. And you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group. You just can't make this up, y'all. Well, we knew them, the voters, the amazing people on, uh, on the independent media, social media. They would uh, fact check everything. They would put it all out there. And they showed how biased this debate was, how rigged this debate was. How it was a three verse one. ABC should be ashamed of themselves. An absolute disgrace. Don't moder moderators should be fired. Lindsey Davis, David, we we're all fired, gone, terminated. Excuse me. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? And the Supreme Court had great courage in doing it. And I give tremendous credit to those six justices. There is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. Madam Vice President, I want to get your response to President Trump. She was big on defund the police. You just can't make it up. Please. In Minnesota, she went. Where do you stand on defund the police? Look, I, I, right. So here's the thing. Defund the police. The, the, the issue behind it is that we need to reimagine how we are creating safety. And <laughs> when you have many cities that have one third of their entire city budget focused on policing, we know that is not the smart way and the best way or the right way to achieve safety. If for too long, the status quo thinking has been you get more safety by putting more cops on the street. Well, that's wrong. And then also, um, again, what we need to do about taking, uh, demilitarizing our, our schools um, and, and taking police officers out of schools. On that point, People Donald Trump, the candidate, has said in this election there will be a bloodbath <laughs> if this and the outcome of this election is not to his liking. Mexico has taken over a period of 30 years 34% of the automobile manufacturing business in our country, think of it, went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole, that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. Can't make it up, man. She didn't get fact checked not once. Not once. What do y'all think, man? Comment down below. They should be ashamed of themselves. Fired. Fired.
you know, David Muir, Lindsey Davis. Well, let's check this last clip out, man, before we get out of here, man. But make sure y'all like the video. Hit that subscribe button. Here to bring you guys for what it is, man. We're not going to sugarcoat it. We're going to call out the truth. Again, people are sick and tired. People are fed up, man. They have lied, manipulated, brainwashed millions and millions of people, man. And people are clapping for these liars, failures, these puppets. It's a disgrace of what we've seen take place, man. An absolute disgrace. Surprise how the moderators heavily weighted the debate. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Uh, I, I think we, it was. Uh, what we should all have expected. Uh, we see how these people operate. You know, you look at the comments that Muir has made. You look at the comments that Lindsey Davis has made. Their bias was baked in from the very beginning because they're not real journalists. Yeah. They are essentially these political operatives whose job it is to try to distract away from Kamala Harris's record, distract away from the serious issues that we face. Not a single question was raised about uh, how are you going to prevent the destruction of our country and the world from nuclear war, which we are closer to than ever before? Mm -hmm. And on the eve of the Islamist terrorist attack on 9-11, they did not raise a point, a question, or a challenge mm -hmm. about how either of these candidates will stem the spread of this radical Islamist ideology around the world and in our own country here at home and how you would prevent this threat from continuing to grow. So. You know, they were not at all interested in, in informing the American people about the truth about anything. Uh, we can expect that they will continue to be propagandists for Kamala Harris. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Were yep. you saying? Yep, 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 man. It's an absolute disgrace, man, what has taken place, y'all, what's taking place right now. It really is. And it has to be too big to rig, you guys. We're going to continue to bring you amazing updates, coverage. Post content. Make sure y'all share the videos, man. We're going to continue to wake people up. But it's an absolute disgrace what's going on right now. But love how Trump stood his ground. And um, again, a lot of polls and they're saying he won this and that. A lot of undecided voters um, are saying he won. And then again, it all comes back to she, she dodged questions. She didn't answer the questions. You know, and um, that's one reason why. And then again, she, they see the uh, the polls and all this, and that's one reason why they want another a, sec, a second debate. You know, and this is all set up, man. This, this was a, this was one. I told you this was why it was, it was it was huge for her to decline the first debates Trump offered to decline the Fox debate. You know, this is all set up. And then, you know, whistleblowers are now coming out that she got, you know, that she she got the questions, you know, before the debate. And uh, she knew that Trump wasn't going to get fact checked. It's in the paperwork that Trump wasn't going to get fact checked. You just can't make this stuff up, man. But I told y'all it would hit the fan. I told y'all it would hit the fan. Just wait for it. It's going it's all going to hit the fan. And the new news they just came out with that um, that's going to be exposed about the Trump um, a, attack that happened on July 13, 2024. It, they said it's going to shock the American people. But we already know. They've tried everything. They do not want Trump here, you guys. I hate to break it to you. This thing is not meant for Trump to win. It's corrupt all around. And, and that's why we say too big to rig. We are not against a, a candidate. We are against a corrupt machine. This thing is not meant for Trump to win, man. The system is against Trump. I keep trying to tell you all this. And it's bigger than me just saying that. You know. This was all set up. This was all planned. And they're going to try to make this woman look as good as she can. There was a reason why 
She's ducking, dodging, and hiding. There's a reason why, you guys. There's a reason why she had a running mate to do an interview after 40 days. There's a reason she's flip-flopping. She goes into these stories instead of answer, answering the, the, the question or talking about the problems that we have now. There's a reason why. Let me know what y'all think, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I love y'all. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one, man. Peace and love, y'all.